Alright, so if you guys didn't already know, I play competitive treasure wars. When I play, my position is mostly at mid because I'm a mid-based player. That means I take fights more often than not. I've been screaming for a little over a year now and have gained lots of experience in how raw PvP works on the Hive. I'm gonna leave timestamps in the description so you can jump around, but I recommend watching it all because this will help you. I tried explaining everything as well as possible, but if you don't understand, I'll be trying to answer some questions in the comments. Anyway, enjoy the video. And subscribe. <laughs> Please. To start things off, ping will basically determine everything. Your connection speed to the server will be the difference if you win or lose in a fair 1v1 trade. If absolutely everything is the same, like ground level, momentum, click speed, you name it, the person with the lower ping will 9 times out of 10 win the trade. In a fair 1v1, there are two very important things, first hit and last hit. The person to get the first hit is usually always the person with the lower ping, and first hit means all your hits are going to register faster than the other person, meaning you'll get the last hit faster and you'll win the trade. Unless you get knocked backwards, I'm going to call this the KB hit. When a player is hit in midair, they will take this KB hit and be knocked backwards. This hit is what starts a combo. If both players are KB hit at the same time, the one that touches the ground first will have more momentum and it'll ultimately decide the outcome of that trade. When a player moves forward, imagine a ghost of that player behind them. The ghost is what the server thinks you are at and what the actual user sees is called the client or client side. This ghost can be further away or closer depending on your ping. Your hit detection and hit priority is based on this ghost. Ever wondered why your hit detection was bad? Well that's because you have higher ping. The ghost behind the client is further away causing your hits to feel sluggish or delayed. Now remember ping does not affect in-game reach in any way. It only changes how good your hit registration is from your client. PvP in general is very CPS based. I used to think it didn't matter, but wow, was I wrong. Having even one click a second faster than your opponent will decide who wins. I recommend trying your hardest to focus on clicking fast rather than aiming because that extra CPS will help you more than it wouldn't. You'll get better at aiming with higher CPS the more you practice. Sensitivity should be very low to reduce overshooting where you want to look. I see too many players die or fall off a bridge because they just move their mouse too fast. So I got a lot of content creators to share what they thought the best sense was for each clicking method. But remember, at first it won't feel great, but the more you practice, you'll soon see a huge improvement in your playstyle. Tracking your opponent with as much CPS as possible is the thing that will 100% make you one of the best PvPers on any server. Practice trying to keep your crosshair parallel with the ground at all times, and when you PvP, aim for the bottom part of their head. This will greatly improve your hit priority because you're using all three blocks of reach to your advantage. Blocks are essential for any PvP encounter. If you don't ever buy blocks, you might as well just be running into a fight while elbow clicking. Come on, bro. Let's fight. <sighs> Come on. I'll I'll run you any day. <laughs> I'm the best elbow clicker. Oh, he's going up. Come on, bro. I'm the best elbow clicker. You don't stand a chance. Uh no! 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 An experienced player can place blocks in a way that will force their opponent to move in a certain direction. Or just completely stop their movement and get a combo. If you are solely a PvPer, the best FOV is with Altered Off. This will make it so when you sprint, the FOV won't change and throw off your aim. Personally, I only use it when I'm playing casually. In scrims, I would turn it off because you don't want anything to hurt your aim. Using the right texture pack is important when you want to do your best. You need a texture pack that isn't distracting, doesn't have a bright sky because this will make it harder to see your opponent, and the right crosshair. You would be surprised how 
a really pixelated texture can be distracting and throw off your aim. Try to look for a smooth pack that fits your taste. A jump reset is when you time your jump right when someone hits you. This will completely cancel your KB and cause you to do a little jump forward. Doing this can get you crazy hits that you normally wouldn't get. Although, there is a twist. Mistiming this and messing up will most likely get you comboed. It's a really risky playstyle, but if you can get it down, it'll only make you better. Alright, I think that's everything. If I missed something, go check the pinned comment. I'll have anything I forgot to add there. So, uh, yeah, leave your questions in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Uh, subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.